We'll begin with candidate Jason Coots and hear his opening statement. Jason, you have 90 seconds. Well, I'm Jason Coots. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Um, I think what the council and what my position would represent is, is purely a, a mouthpiece for the citizens. Um, I, I reached out to Ryan Wheaton today. I think it's important that we acknowledge what we have lost and what must have gone on behind the scenes to create someone so tied to our community to feel like he needed to go. That's the kind of thing I'm looking to rid the, the local government of. Um, I think that a lot of the times things are pushed on, on an individual's own agenda and I'm purely running on the stance of the people. Um, I don't live or die based on the results of this election. Um, I just feel that it's time for someone who really is tied to the community, isn't pursuing a, uh, their own agenda or political career to step up, and I believe I'm that guy. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Next, we'll hear from Jess Mosley. Jess? My name's Jess Mosley. I've lived in Shelton since 1998. I worked for Mason County uh, for 15 years before retiring in 2015. And I believe that government should be of the people, by the people, and for the people. I think that having a goal, a strategic plan, and adhering to it is important. I think that it's not set in stone, but at the same time, it needs to be adhered to so that we make it a stable community and we welcome all people who move to this area. Thank you. Thank you, Jess. Eric Onisco? Hi, I'm Eric Onisco. I'm a resident, business owner, and concerned parent in the city of Shelton. We have made progress in the city of Shelton, but we can do better. Supporting our schools, we can do better. Paving our roads, pothole repairs, we can do better. Supporting the police and fire, we can do better. Supporting nonprofits in town that take care of our homeless, we can do better. Affordable housing starts with the city, we can do better. All of us are here tonight, are your voice, your vote on the new council. I'm asking for your trust to elect me to the city of Shelton Council. Most important is to vote. Please vote for your candidate of choice. Do not leave your vote on the kitchen table. We can all do better. And if I still have time, the role of the council is more of an oversight of the city manager. A city manager runs the entire city and staff, and we were just oversight. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Just this question will go to you first. You'll be given one and a half minutes for your response. Many in the community are asking for more civil discourse among lo local elected officials, whether it be during meetings or on social media. Do you agree with this sentiment? If so, how would you improve the situation? And if you don't agree, please explain why not. I think civility in government is important. Um, I think respect goes a long way towards helping people to communicate in an open format that they're comfortable in and expressing views that are not necessarily mainstream because having an opinion and being a representative from the community brings a different point of view, a different focus, and a different objective that can be melded into a plan for whatever the discourse is and find some form of compromise. I mean, it not, should not always be capitulation it should be a compromise so that the best of all things come together. Great, thank you, Jess. Eric, you're up next. Again, many in the community are asking for more civil discourse among local elected officials. Do you agree with the sentiment? If so, how would you improve the situation? If you don't agree, please explain why not. Absolutely agree. I think that we have not compromised in the city on many issues, and yes, we both have different views, or all seven of us will have different views, but we need to compromise for what's best for the citizens, business, and the city. Great, thank you. 
Jason, do you agree with this sentiment? If so, how would you improve the situation? And if you don't agree, why not? I'm sorry, would you read it just one more time? Sure. Many in the community are asking for more civil discourse among local elected officials, whether it be during meetings or on social media. Do you agree with this sentiment? If so, how would you improve the situation? And if you don't agree, please explain why not. I agree that things should be, um, that we should aim to keep things civil. But I think if everybody shares the same opinion, we don't grow. I think um, that when people come together and discuss things and, and disagree and um, participate, that's how Shelton grows. Um, the, the recent environment of Shelton government hasn't been the most civil, but I think the interest is at a peak. And, and I think that if, if good comes about through bad, I think that's what we're aiming for. Obviously, I, I don't, if we could do it a better way, that's important, but when I came out with the things I came out with, it, it wasn't the most civil thing, but people stood up and people thanked me and, and people were happy to finally start airing things out that maybe they were afraid to say um, in the interest of keeping things civil. And I, and I think today we're better off having come through that. Thank you. Thank you. Eric, we'll have you answer this question first. Again, you'll be given one and a half minutes for your response. For many generations, our region's economy has revolved around natural resources, both in the forest and with shellfish. What sectors and employers do you want to be the core of our future economic development, or do you believe it's better to be a suburb of Olympia? Well, I think the suburb is a nice start, but I think that we need to grow Shelton. We need to grow our economy. We need jobs. We need housing. Um, sorry. But I do believe that there's nothing wrong with being a bedroom community at Olympia, but we do also need our own future. Okay. Thank you. Jason. Again, for many generations, our region's economy has revolved around natural resources, both forest and shellfish. What sectors and employers do you want to be the core of our future economic development, or do you believe it's better to be a suburb of Olympia? Uh, Shelton isn't a suburb of Olympia in my mind, but I think it's important we remember we're also not Olympia. Um, I think that we need to reinvest in our manufacturing core. Um, I think that we need to also establish opportunities inside the city limits. Um, I'm happy to see the city invest in an economic development plan. Um, I think it, it adds room for businesses to come in. Uh, I would like to see Shelton become the place that, that people want to live, that people want to have their business there. And um, I think that the trend has been people grow up, maybe start businesses and move away. I'd like to see the city work towards a climate that's industry friendly economically. Um, like I said, I, I think the, the economic development plan is a great start and, and I'd like to see that explored. Great, thank you. Jess? For many generations, our region's economy has revolved around natural resources, both shellfish and forest. What sectors and employers do you want to be the core of our future economic development, or do you believe it's better to be a suburb of Olympia? Well, I do think that currently we are a quasi-bedroom community of Olympia. If you've ever tried to go south between 6 o'clock in the morning and, say, 7.30 or 8, and you find the bottleneck just past Steamboat Island, you realize that a lot of people are leaving this area to go to work somewhere else because that's where the jobs are. I think that our natural resources, we've gotten to the point now where with synthetic material that we're finding less and less need for it and so our natural resources, especially in the area of tourism, is important. I think we have some prime opportunities with the a, a railway that currently runs through town and the Mill 5 out there and the people that are interested in creating some type of a living museum that pays tribute to our history. Um, we're currently, like mine, uh, for example, we have a call moving shelf in one barge at a time uh, with the mining operation out off on the water by the Oakland Bay. Um, but 
I think something along the lines where we bring people in and we create jobs. We have a great school system here and we send our kids to college and they come back and they have nowhere to apply their trades. Um, and because of that, we tend to lose more and more and we become older and older and we are eventually gonna become either a retirement community or a bedroom community of Olympia if we don't change our ways. Thank you, Jess. Those are the questions we have prepared for you guys tonight. Um, we will be moving on to closing statements. Each of you will have one minute, and Jason will hear from you first. All right, thanks again for coming out. Um, like, I, like I said before, I think it's time that Sheldon thinks about what's really going on, thinks about why great people in our community leave. How is the local government how has it alienated the best thing to happen to our city in a long time? Um, I think we all know the answer. Um, we might not want to admit the answer. And I stand for everything that is the opposite of that. I stand for y you, what you see is what you get, you know? I, I will look you in the eye and tell you what I think. And I think that there probably isn't, aren't a lot of people that would disagree on that. Um, I love the participation. I'm glad that, that our, our local government has become such a great topic. Um, thanks again. Thank you, Jason. Jess? First off, thank you everybody for being here and all the technology that's being used so we can go home and look at what we should have done and what we did do and what we <laughs> didn't do. Um, I believe that anybody who lives in Shelton has the right to a safe home that's not dangerous, that's not outdated, that's not antiquated, that's not something that would be harmful to young minds and developing bodies. I think that some of the services that the city can provide, uh, in addition to not only commercial property, but residential property that's used as rental property, is to make sure that we have a standard for homes in here and that we use the housing that we have now and upgrade and update to make it usable so that we don't have what I call urban sprawl, where we move away from our homes and they become less owner occupied and more rental properties. And then next thing you know, the infrastructure starts falling and the homes fall into disrepair and sales values go down. So I do believe that the quality of life is important in Shelton and that we should work to do that. Thank you, Jess. Eric? Thank you everyone for coming tonight. I have attended hundreds of city meetings, only missing a few, and I know the issues. I've watched and learned, and I'm ready to work on day one. You have a chance to elect eight of us to advance the general election in April. I will offer common sense voting. If it don't add up, I won't vote for it. In the end, seven people will make the decisions on how we spend your money. History shows we don't seem to ask tough questions. The city manager does run the city, and we are the oversight. We don't want any more unused infrastructure projects as you, the taxpayers, pay in the bill. We, we can't solve every problem. I will be your voice and your vote and do my best. Thank you. Vote, vote, vote. We can all do better. Thank you. At this point, uh, we'll take a quick break as we reset the stage for candidates vying for Shelton City Council seat five. Again, my thanks to Jason Coots, Jess Mosley, and Eric Onusko for joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank you.